Welterweight division, sanctioned by the Nevada State Athletic Commission, this bout is dedicated to the memory of Phil Berger and Bob Waring. The three judges assigned to ringside, scoring this bout on the 10-point must system will be Chuck Jampa, Dave Moretti, and Paul Smith. And when the bell rings, your referee in charge of the action, Jay Nady. And now, for the thousands in attendance here at the MGM Grand, and the millions watching around the world on HBO, Ladies and gentlemen, uh, let's get ready to rumble! <laughs> Introducing first, out of the blue corner, wearing white trimmed with blue and weighing in at 146 pounds. He has an outstanding professional record consisting of 33 victories, including 27 knockouts with four losses. 22 of those 27 KOs came in three rounds or less. He's known to fans around the world as a throwback to another era. With his heart, ferocious punching power, and sheer determination, he is recognized as the ultimate blood and guts warrior. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the pride of Jersey City, New Jersey, the former junior lightweight champion of the world, Arturo Hundagahi. Across the ring, fighting out of the red corner, wearing burgundy, trimmed with gold, and weighing in at 147 pounds. He captured Olympic gold in 1992. And now, as a professional in 34 bouts, he has 32 victories, including 26 knockouts. His only two defeats were by disputed decisions. In 21 bouts, a world title was on the line, and he won five championships in four divisions. He returns to the ring tonight resolved to once again march forward on the path to glory. Ladies and gentlemen, from East LA, presenting the five-time champion of the world, the golden boy, Oscar. Okay, the belly button is, is the line. You're a little bit above the belly button, but not very much. That's good, so it's going to be the belly button and the hip bone. We have 12 rounds. Obey my commands. Touch glove. Let's go to work. Let's go. The first thing to look for in this fight is whether Gaddy can deal with Oscar De La Hoya's excellent jab. If he can't deal with the jab, it will be short and bloody. Five years ago, when Oscar De La Hoya first fought Julio Cesar Chavez here in Las Vegas, he cut him in the first 30 seconds of the fight with a jab. No one at ringside would be tremendously shocked if De La Hoya cut Gatti in the first round. First landed punch is a jab by Gatti. That's not a good sign when you have a superior jabber comes in and let his opponent get the initial jab in. Thunder is largely found in his big left hook. And if Arturo has a puncher's chance here, as even his most ardent supporters will acknowledge is probably the case, that punch is the left hook. Now the one thing that De La Hoya didn't do originally it was jab to the body good. He'd always have an excellent jab on top. This time he's gone to the body. And you take chances when you reach down there into those little guys' territory though. They pay you. Against 130 and 135 pound fighters, Gotti always looked bigger and stronger than his opponents. Now, for the first time, he faces off against a man naturally larger than himself. You think about it, Oscar De La Hoya is moving his head, bobbing and weaving. He's got the height advantage. You don't want that. Right hand for De La Hoya. Floyd Mayweather Jr. promises that Oscar will make his seemingly underdeveloped right hand 
into a much bigger weapon in this phase of his career. Gaddy has always been vulnerable to the right hand, Jim. Angel Man Freddy hurt Gaddy with a right hand early, and that punch ultimately led to Gaddy's demise. Big left hook by Gaddy. The first thing I notice is that Gaddy is doing more ducking and head movement to avoid the jab, and that's why De La Hoya has been unable to establish it as yet. And the problem with that is De La Hoya is bending his knees to try to jab. You don't want to give up your height advantage to a puncher. Let him reach and miss up on top. Don't let him, don't be down there where he wants you. Right hand inside by Gotti. Deloy afflict him with the left. Oscar gives up his jab. He's just an ordinary boxer out there fighting for his life. He gives up his reach. He's got his legs spread far apart. Now Deloia lands his first effective combination and crumbles Gotti with a trademark left hook. And Four, Oscar Deloia left hook too six, big for Gotti. Seven, and there's blood flowing eight, already from You're under right. Arturo Gotti's okay. right eye. Body left hook, upstairs combinations. Can Gotti finish the round? Remember, Gotti has been there before. De La Hoya fireworks in the last 30 seconds of round one. There's the blood under Gotti's eye. So are you waiting? Right there, you stand out too straight. Go. Work in, go. Work in for me. Go. For me. For me, hurry up. Joe Souza, the cut man, using a one-pound end swell on Gaddy. Use your head, huh? Bang, okay? All right, good. Use your jab. Another look at the knockdown, Larry. Gaddy was doing excellently until he stood straight up and caught that left hook late in the round. Up until that time, he had fought what for him would be regarded as a perfect round. Oscar De La Hoya is a welterweight what? with a middleweight left hook. And that left hook was the difference in round one. The problem for Gaddy is he has to fight a perfect fight to have any chance to stay here. And now Gaddy comes out winging shots from both sides, seemingly already ready to let it go for Brook. A very busy Oscar De La Hoya threw 73 punches in round one and looks energetic at the beginning of round two as well. Oh, an uppercut, right hand uppercut by Gotti, momentarily stumbled Oscar. Box! De La Hoya going to the body with the jab again, George. That's his weapon. You want to keep that jab, but the difference is he's going to the body with it. Sets up a four-punch combination upstairs. Don't Gotti him. goes to the body with a right hand. And that takes a difference when you're throwing five and six combinations. You get hit to the body, then you start getting winded. Crowd erupts as Gotti tries to come back over the top of Oscar's guard. And pops De La Hoya with two jabs. I don't like Oscar being hit with left jabs by a shorter opponent. Just doesn't work. Well, he's leaning in, George. He's almost leaning over that front foot. It's not good okay. at all. That's okay. Leans in, goes to the body. Double shot to the body. Two right, right hand. hands upstairs. Something new, a right hand. Absolutely. He has mixed in the right hand much more effectively here than ever before. Here's a guy, got him who's been on the floor. He's gotten up before in his life. He's been blooded. This is not going to bother him. It's only what have you done to me lately, not what you did. Oh, in a, in a way, the farther he falls behind on the scorecards, the no more shoulder. dangerous Gotti will become. Because he he'll get a, more reckless. He has a left hook. Watch your heads! Question will be... How long can Gotti last in the fight with the blood flowing the way it is? But the big gash 
is under his eye, not above it. Ooh, Excellent body, body shot. Body. And another right hand to the body. And Del Oya has clearly worked to make the right hand better. I like he throws his punches and step back and invites the guy to come in for more. series on the record with Bob Costas. Last week, Bob talked with baseball superman Mark McGuire and with Jersey's other boss, Highway 9's Bruce Springsteen. And did you see Bob's conversation a couple weeks ago with Vince McMahon? The show is live, so don't miss it. On Wednesdays at 11 p.m., only on HBO. We're okay. Stop coming, okay? I told you, what's the wrong with him? He's going to quit. You understand what I say? Come on, Bob. Move that head, okay? I'm working around. with you, make it I'm here. Look at me, look at me. Okay? It's, we start coming. Work the body more. Work the body more. Okay? Real good. Keep it in. I copy box okay. numbers in round number two. Okay. Deloya landed 32 of 42 power shots. Seconds out. Substantiating the pre fight Box. observation that Gotti is an easy target, particularly for a precise sharpshooter shooter like Deloya. Remember, Gotti is only one good left hook from being into the fight. Doesn't mind being punished and coming back. Gotti trying to unload a big right hand. As we told you, you can score on AOL. 15% of you gave the first round to Arturo Gotti. All right, the second round, I should say. Second round to Arturo Gotti. Those 15% may need a little more training in scoring fights. Oscar's doing a good job of jabbing, jabbing, and moving out. You know, not staying in there to be get hit back. In a previous exchange, Gaddy hit De La Hoya with a really good shot. De La Hoya shook it off easily. Gaddy suggested to us in our meeting, he said, I'm a big puncher. Oscar's never been hit by a puncher as big as me. I'm thinking he fought Felix Trinidad. Maybe Gotti forgot, forgot about that. There's a big right hand by Deloya. And Gotti's and totally he didn't rush him. Oscar didn't rush him. The first time he's taking his time, and after he's hurt him, took his time to start all over again. 